nerds! Welcome back! This number is fantastic! So I know I only played a small part in the Project for Awesome, but I'm still really happy that it was such a humongous success. I even got a couple of comments on the video, which made me really happy. Okay, so glorious flavor nerds, today I want to talk about books, because I obviously like them. Personally, I like to read a lot of fantasy novels, I read a little bit of sci-fi, I really enjoy adventure books, and I'm really getting into a lot of the young adult novels that are coming out. I like clearly written in-depth stories that take a couple of reads. I like the quickness and clearness of the story. I like how it moves really quickly. The only tiny problem with the intensity of a lot of sci-fi and fantasy books is every once in a while it becomes a little overwhelming. It's like eating really rich food three meals a day every day. Every once in a while you just need a salad or some french fries because french fries are the bomb diggity. Yes, I just said bomb diggity. So every once in a while I like to switch to romance novels. I call them palate cleansers. They're quick, easy to digest stories that are just interesting for the sake of being interesting and always have a happy ending. One of my favorite authors is Susan Mallory and she wrote the Fool's Gold series which includes this book. Let me tell you, I enjoy her books. I really do. She's got a whole bunch of them. I have an entire stack right here of them. And they're honestly really good reads and I've never had an issue with any of her books. Until this one. So the premise of the story is that there's a girl named Delana and a guy named Sam. Sam, for his big company, has to plan an outing for the weekend for all of their big corporation sponsors and such. Delana is a party planner, so he hires her to help him plan the party and sexiness ensues. But one of the overwhelming themes of the book is she really didn't want to start a relationship with him while they were working together. She felt that it was inappropriate. She was totally okay with discussing a relationship after the party had gone through and been a success. And lo and behold, his psychotic parents show up and he runs to her guest bedroom to sleep there because his parents are driving him crazy and he can't stand them anymore. The next morning after he sleeps in their guest room, everything's nice. She gets in the shower and he barges in on her while she's getting out and suddenly he cannot hold himself back and he immediately goes to her, starts making out with her and they have sex. I'm sitting there reading this, I shut the book and set it down and I just felt a little raw from it. Like here's a woman who has been verbalizing the entire book and every time anything intimate had happened between them, they had shared a couple of kisses. She had verbalized to him, it's not okay for this to happen now, this needs to wait until after we plan this party together. And yet he sees her naked and can't control himself and ends up having sex with her right there in her bathroom. I just felt like this was not the type of thing that should be in a romance novel. I mean, that wasn't romance, that was him literally losing control and taking what he wanted from her. I feel like it's really dangerous to the culture when this acceptance of a guy losing control and not being able to stand not being with you a second longer is considered a good thing. The issue with this is even though sometimes, yes, you really do like the guy and when he suddenly can't not have you anymore, it's a little sexy and you're kind of okay with it, it perpetrates the idea that this is what is happening regularly. It really does blur the line between what's consent, what's fantasy, and what's rape. Feminards, I would love to hear your opinions about this down in the comments. Do you agree with me that this is possibly kind of dangerous and almost a portrayal of rape? Or do you disagree and feel like women really do want to drive men so crazy that they lose control with them? I look forward to reading your comments. Max, I miss your face, your beautiful face. It's so wonderful. Feminers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because we are officially raising money again for other worthy causes. Wow!